Hello everyone, welcome back. All right guys, got another cool one for you. This one's gonna be short, but nonetheless, it's just as important as any other video I've done where it shows stuff just in plain sight. Let's have a look. This is Curiosity Rover photo, and it is Sol 2004, and you can see it's from the right nav cam. Now, this one here is pretty interesting. Let me just give you an idea where this is at. Uh, I believe this is right here at this when I'd done this other video last year on 11 17 2017 uh, structures on Mars this will blow your mind now guys it's almost like these guys NASA JPL and the CGI department learn how to really trick the eye if you think you've seen it all watch this video because even it blew my mind when I when I brought this thing out and these structures but this is like a huge swath now it's it's a giga pan that I look at you can see it's Neville Thompson so credit goes to him but he does this large area and what I'm doing is I believe it's all the way on the left of this. Now you won't see it in this gigapan that I have here in the in the uh, in uh, the comment section because I always pin it right in the comment section. Um, but it's on the left hand side. So just by looking at this alone, check this out. You can see what looks like this white structure right here, and it might be actually this wide. But you can see this thing going up on a slant, going over and then up and over like this this archway type thing. And there's there's so many other things. This other uh, you know. It's another structure here with two wide openings, and it looks like another doorway type thing. But just have a look at the video, and then you get a basic idea. And you're going to see what I'm going to show you. Is it far-fetched to believe that these are more structures I'm about to show you? Let's have a look. All right, so let's jump into this. Like I said, this is the photo here. Now, we can zoom into this. Just by looking at this alone, it tells me. And now the background to me is complete crap. It's complete CGI. I don't believe a thing of it. I think it's just garbage. Now, it just looks CGI. Now, whether it is or isn't, I'm going to say it's 99%, it is. But uh, you guys give me your take on that. And uh, as always, you guys get the last word on these. Um, okay, right here in question, right in plain sight, I'm going to go ahead and zoom into it as much as I can, which is around 150%. Now, guys, pause pause the video. If you got one of these big magnifiers or these little uh, eyepieces, you know, jeweler's eyepieces, stuff like that, have a look at just this section right here. This is bizarre. All on the top here, this. It looks like there's things lined up alongside of each other, but what it is is they put the texture, they made the objects the same texture as over here, all over here, and and of course it's whitened out, it's not the most highest res photo, but when you look at it, you're just going to go, why do these things look like they're all lined up alongside of each other on this? But more importantly, check this thing out, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to zoom in big time, but just right here, these, these squares of these openings right here in this hill now it looks like it goes down like this and just kind of drops off see that and i'm going to show you this a whole lot closer uh in a second what i can't get now actually i shouldn't say that because we all know how nasa can obfuscate and manipulate a photo right um i think it's a lot easier to actually blur out and take out information on a low-res photo than it is in a high-res picture this high-res high-definition photo and then they start to blur out certain spots i think that'll stick out like a sore thumb right on a low res, they can easily pass it off as that's what it is, low res, right? But when you look at this, you can see the, this butte, nice and clear, pretty crisp over here as well. Although I don't believe this is an actual butte or hill, but all this section right here below it is completely no information, especially around here. And I'm going to show you what I believe that is. It has an arch as well. And it looks like some kind of weird mound that's been taken out, like they try to totally take it out of the picture and obfuscate it out, right? Let's jump to Photoshop. I want to show you this and brighten it up a bit for you guys. Uh, turn up the exposure, so on and so forth. So let's do that and zoom in. Now, this to me just was like just stuck out. I don't know what this is, but to me, these are openings. Now, is it part of a structure at one point that was up here on the top of this? But I'm seeing like one, two, three, four items, five. And you're going to see this a little bit better in a moment because I'm going to show you the full enhance, meaning to bring it out. Um, and of course... Just, again, pause it any way you want. Have a look at this right here, this spot right here. You can see where they've taken out something right here and totally took it. It looks like some kind of like, almost like a hanger. It's like rounded and it has like a like a half of, uh, like a tube, like a half a tube type thing. And it's just going from here to here, down. And you can see what looks like some kind of uh, 90 degree angle and some like rectangular area, if you will. Now, let's jump back over this because I want to show you this. This is pretty cool. Let's zoom way in. And, you know, of course, you get the naysayers, all these are nothing but rocks. But here's why I say it isn't. Okay, I'm going to jump right into the fully enhanced. I'm going to just drop it back here. But now check this out because this is where it gets really cool. 
When you look at this, you got this here coming down, going across, and then back down. This one looks like just a square opening, and not so much just like a top and, and sides thing, but also a bottom too. Now I'm just going to go ahead and fill it in. See, I botched it up. Uh, comes right down, up, over, and then back down. This one is a little bit more, a little bit more bizarre, where you have this here goes, it looks like it goes up like this, has this curvature, goes up, goes across. Now look at this, this side here. You can literally see a line that goes down like this. See that? So I went a little high on this, but let's go like this. Let's go, let's bring it back down a little bit. Goes around, comes back down. Now, what, this is what people need to pay attention. First thing people are going to say, oh, you know, there's some kind of rock. There's actually items or something inside them. See that? There's something inside them. Now, what are they? Couldn't even tell you. You know, we can just purely speculate, and that's pretty much it. Now, when you look at the whole picture, again, let's have a look at these now because I can show you the original and then the enhanced. Okay, all of these here, this is actually stuff right here. There's one, two, three, because I'm just kind of messing around, but let's do this. Brighten it up. There's one, two, three, and then, of course, you've got this one, this object here where it has one, two, three dark areas and then has this weird framework right here. And you can see that right here. I believe there's just like a lot of things on this. Now, I showed it to a friend of mine. He goes, believe it or not, he says it looked like a bunch of almost like cars in a row. And I went, really? So I'm not, I guess I'm not the only one seeing it. Now, I'm not saying that's what it is. I'm just saying it's just bizarre how there's these things are just lined up. They could be anything. They could be small structures, right? All lined up. I don't know what they are. Um, when you look at it, and there's another thing to pay attention to. You can see it right here. has these rectangular areas on top of this. Here's another one. And then, of course, you got something right here with the three holes in it. One, two, and three. And like I said, you just got these other objects. Another one is three. One, two, three. It seems to be the norm here on these three openings, right? I don't know what they are. Is it possible? Because you can see this thing goes all the way down to here. Was it part of... Uh, like a roadway or something like that. It went across here. Or was it just some kind of, um, like, was there like a body of water here? And it went up to about here. And these are just openings, you know, people can, you know, get into boats and stuff like that. And maybe this is not a butte at all over here. But maybe that was halfway up that and it was some kind of little island type thing and a lake or some kind of pond or something. But who knows? It's all pure speculation, of course. But these guys are not... That is intelligently made, and they're right across this whole face of this thing. I believe there's more than one, and it looks like one of two of them is actually buried. You can see right in this area right over here, there's something here that looks like it's just kind of strewn all over the place. But you guys could tell me what you think. Now, that other area I was telling you guys about was over here. I'm just going to go back to this. Here's what I've been talking about, this area. I want to zoom in. This is the original photo. This is untouched. No Photoshop, even though it's in Photoshop. You can see what looks like this arch, and then it kind of stops, and there's a whole bunch of distortion right here. Now, people say, well, you don't know what uh, compression marks are, or it's a low-res photo, low-res photo. And I get that. But here's the thing. I can see, as lousy as the photo is, I see all kinds of detail all in here, right up to about here, all the way over here, all the way in here. I can see all that. There is a lack of, in, even right to here, all in this area has all got some kind of uh, detail. You go up here, there's absolutely none. Completely taken out or covered all in this area. Completely covered up. Why is that? Because it's not at low res. This is what I pulled out of it right here. And you can see, again, if I jump back to just this one here lit up, or I should say brightened or overexposed or just exposed up a little, you can see what does that. And it looks like it goes back, and then it stops right here. So... Whatever that is, it seems like it's almost like this small hanger type thing. I'm not saying that's what it is. It just seems like I'm trying to give you the idea of the shape that I might be seeing, you know. Um, but this is what I pulled out of there, and then I whitened it up a little just to give you an idea. But I think this thing is much taller, like it, can, like it goes like this here. I don't believe it stops there only because I believe that this, this mess here, all of this right here is nothing but garbage that they pulled in and they put on there like they, in other words they blurred it out and took um you know just blocked it and just totally obfuscated it that's basically what it comes down to um of course i'm generalizing but yeah so guys tell me what you think this is 
I'm seeing what looks like structures or something on top of this whole white area. And I'm seeing what looks like uh, openings in this hillside. What could that be? Is it is it possible it's from what's left of the civilization that's left over and that they just made their homes into the side of this? Or is it like something left over from a structure that was there, you know, years ago? And when I say years ago, I don't mean millions and billions of years ago. I mean like, like 1941 years ago, meaning that's when all of this took place, right? This big explosion, these two nuclear explosions, which I've done in previous videos not so long ago. And, and this is what we're seeing, what's left of this civilization uh, without any water, at least in this area, any of that sort. What do you think it is? Guys, leave a comment down below. Share the video. Let me know what you think. I'm curious as to what, it, what you guys have to say. Um, and here's the whole area in general. And like I said, we've got all of this right here. And I'm going to zoom way in because I know there's people on phones and stuff like that. And we're just going to head. I'm going to go from left to right real quickly. This is what's on top. And you can see what it looks like. One, two, three, another four, another one right here, five. And then, of course, you've got these right here. And you can see these like rectangular areas or squared off areas in here, right in here. And then, of course, you've got these openings and all this blur and garbage. And then you run into what looks like this here. Tell me what you guys think. Like I said, pause the video any way you want to. Have a look at it and tell me what you think. I think this is what's left over. Again, I told you on going this way, we found all those other uh, structures. Watch the video. I'll put the video um, link in the description so you can check out the other video and just go check it out. And this is all in the same swath of area. It's the whole area from left to right. It's all the way, this whole area. And it's like you see structure, some kind of remnants of something or other just, just all over the place. And I don't think these guys are going anywhere. I believe that they knew exactly what they were going after. They then brought the rover down, went to a certain destination, and said, okay, analyze everything you see. That's pretty much what they're doing. And the same thing applies when I told you guys about the landers, the rover, because you got uh, Curiosity, plus you got Opportunity still going. Spirit is not, you know, functioning anymore, and neither is, is the Sojourner. So you've got these two other, two other rovers, and landers, I believe, are still active, even though they say they're not doing anything. Doesn't mean they can't take pictures, right? So I believe they're taking a lot of photos from those areas. Um, I mean, what's your take on it? You guys have seen a lot of stuff yourself. I know a lot of you guys do a lot of anomaly hunting yourselves. Give me your thoughts on what you're seeing here. Uh, and, I'm, of course, you'll get the photo link to this. You guys know that. Um, and then just drop your thoughts. Anyway, guys, not going to make it too much longer. Like I said, just wanted to share this with you. I was kind of excited about it because I'm seeing more and more evidence of what could be there was a civilization on Mars, and we're still seeing it. And this is, again, in plain sight. There's no ifs, ands, or it as far as I'm concerned. But again, as always, tell me what you think. Anyway, guys, have yourself a great weekend, and we'll see you in the next video.